I want a cameo. <laughs> All right. Hello again, my friends. We're back. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, first and foremost. And uh, we're back here. Family members, just Uncle Jim, cousins out here. Great day. Temperature. Weather-wise, actually pretty nice. We're probably close to 50. It's very, uh, very marginal out here. So here we go. I got a local beer today that I have tried. Uh, this is the Urban Artifact Chariot. This is the Chariot. Uh, cherry Pie Ghost is what this is classified as. But I tell you what, I've said this before, third or fourth Urban Review. Just, right now, my favorite brewery is Cincinnati. They're doing some tremendous things, and they continue to to put out some good products here. And this is, uh, again, the Cherry Pie Ghost here. The alcohol is pretty light, 4.7% alcohol by volume. So not, not strong, uh, 4.7%. It says a ghost brew with 1,500 pounds of fresh start cherries, 9 pounds of sea salt, 60 grams of vanilla beans, 125 pounds of coriander, and 30 PPL per batch. I'm not sure what the PPL is on that. But I do think Urban Artifact is descriptive. That's my I opinion. would think so. <laughs> Big wine drinker over here. But, but uh, we're going to watch some Xavier basketball as they beat up on those little girly colonials here shortly. Uh, this is, uh, it says... Chariots were the standard mode for transportation for much of ancient Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and Northern Africa, used by armies as taxes and to move farm equipment to help build civilization. Compliment your history with a chariot. See that logo, Jim? That chariot logo? Pretty That's cool. pretty cool. You I love them? the artwork on that one. Well, I mean, it's urban <laughs> art. Yeah. yeah. Cherry Pie Ghost. So it's a local brewery. Yeah, check it out. It's a church in north side, an old building, 100 years old. Pretty cool facility. I continue to produce beer, so... Go ahead and get a, a quick, uh, quick pour here and get an aroma on the big, the big cherry. I've had this beer before. It's pretty good. Classic urban artifact. Good ghost beer. Yeah. See my buddy from there. Come in and say we're about the bombers. Come on. He doesn't want to get in here. He doesn't want to get in here. So let's go ahead and get a pour. Cherry pie ghost. Have you had this before? I have. Tell you why the. Hey, everything urban artifact though. There's my other cousin. Hey, look at the color. Boy, it looks like a cherry pie. I tell you what, that is really. When I re... when I drank this the first time, I didn't actually pour it out into it. I drank it out of the can. That is a tremendous color. I'm gonna try that. Get an aroma. He wants to get a try. So cherry pie goes. He probably won't like. I don't know. Uh, that's actually that's actually good for him to say I don't know. Okay. He he he'll drink a beer and say no. And you know what? It's not for everybody. It's an acquired taste, and that's kind of why we want to give thanks for. You know, it's Thanksgiving to troops, the soldiers, for being able to have that right and have our opinion. So, you know, many nations don't have that right and that option. So, we do want to say thanks to that. So, quick aroma here. You get vanilla in there, some cherry, some cinnamon. Vanilla beans. I mean, there's not a whole lot to the aroma. Pretty basic. So, let's go ahead and get a swig. Thanks to the brewers that are under fact, and happy Thanksgiving again. Is that it? I'm getting a review, yeah. Huh? Well, I got it. Taste it and give the resume okay. score. Usually about six to seven minutes per, depending on if it's a specialty beer or a big release. I'll tell you what, very good vanilla finish. A lot of cherries. Uh, what did it say on the can? <laughs> 1,500 pounds of fresh tart cherries. That's per barrel. That is insane. I think that's, I don't want to call them lying, but I think that's a bit excessive. <laughs> I mean, 1,500 pounds. Think about that per, per, per barrel of beer. I mean, that cannot be accurate, can it? Huh? 1,500 pounds of cherries per barrel of beer. Can that be accurate? Oh, well, I don't that know. That seems like a lot. Per... It does. <laughs> I mean, that seems excessive to me. But uh, well, i tell you what. It looks <laughs> looks like almost like a... What would you call that color? Like a... It's very dis I don't know what you even call that color. Red. Like a... a, a grapefruit. Got kind of a grapefruity, yeah. Yes. Grapefruity. Uh, i tell you what. A lot of cherries as advertised. Like, you do get a nice vanilla finish. I don't, know if, Jim, I don't know if Jim caught on that at the back end. Let it me does try it again. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, kind of, yeah, kind of a Bloody Mary. Oh, Bloody Mary, yes. You do get a good vanilla vanilla finish. The cherries up front, it's clearly some sour cherries, but get that vanilla aftertaste. Yep. Pretty solid. I mean, I, I think it's a B plus beer. I mean, it's not not my favorite urban artifact, but it's certainly drinkable and acceptable uh, yeah. around the Thanksgiving table. So, B plus here. Uh, that's going to wrap it up here. We got plenty more for tonight, folks. No one just left, so the kid's gone. So, <laughs> some big boys in there. If we continue our Thanksgiving feast. Continue to try Urban Artifact, folks. Chariot. We will not be disappointed. Cheers, guys.